This is Dan Verbest, speaking for the Semaphore Record Division of the Vantage Recording Company in Chicago. The golden age of steam has passed, having written its page in railroad history. No other machine age invention had such an impact on the American scene as the iron horse. Today, it's a legend. Semaphore Records is dedicated to the preservation of this great age through our unique series of recordings mastered by men incensed with the true love of railroading. We like to say that our albums are realistic. And by the way, all have been accepted for cataloging in the Library of Congress. I thought you would enjoy a sneak preview of just three semaphore releases which have become favorites. Your first preview is an excerpt from the now famous On Time album. And here's what the reviewers have observed. Model Railroader says, especially good for model railroad background effects. Trains Magazine states, this one is a must. Just listen to this record. Railroad Magazine says, plenty of variety. Editing and surfaces are tops. Any fan should have the nostalgia turned on by this record. On Time features an exclusive on-train run taken from official recordings. Now let's listen as K4 number 3754 gets its P70 coaches rolling out of South Amboy, New Jersey. dealer has on time. Besides the informative liner notes, the album is wrapped in a five-color dust jacket which reproduces famed Pensy artist Griff Teller's snow scene of number 5411. A thrilling audio documentary to the 484s entitled Modern Steam is a result of an extensive tour by our recording engineers. Modern Steam is an incredible record. 484s from coast to coast and from Canada to Mexico. Your choice of stereo or monaural, there's plenty of freight service as well as passenger. Single and double-headed. More than six different railroads. This album features the most unusual whistles you've ever heard. Whistle artistry unsurpassed. For example, there's Reading Company's number 2102 with a whistle from Baldwin's demonstration locomotive 60,000. And then there's Norfolk and Western 611 with a steamboat type whistle. And of course there's, well, I wish I could play the entire album for you right now. But as a good substitute, let's hear many of the different whistles from the modern steam album condensed into a super fast minute. It's a trick to be sure, but here goes. Double header, available in stereo or regular hi-fi, is a double feature of steam railroading thrills. No other phase of steam railroading could match the thrill of a double-headed train. One monstrous machine spewing smoke and steam 
while creating a mild earthquake was an awesome sight to be sure. But two such, well, it was better than any double feature at a Saturday matinee. Like all semaphore recordings, our dynamic presence recording technique puts you in the middle of the action. Double header is an album of all regular revenue freight operations. You'll hear such roads as the Grand Trunk Western, Denver and Rio Grande Narrow Gauge, the Pensy's Bald Eagle Valley Branch, and the Canadian Pacific. Here's two Canadian Pacific 462s wrestling with stubborn freight. When was the last time you heard action like this? Founded in 1832 during the presidency of Andrew Jackson, the Strasburg Railroad is America's oldest short-line railroad. The round-trip route is a memorable, nostalgic ride down memory lane. The trip is through some of the most beautiful farm country in the world, the quaint, colorful countryside of the fabulous Pennsylvania Dutch Amish area of Lancaster County. It is here that our mobile recording crew journeyed to record for the first time the standard code of operating rules, prescription of engine whistle signals. The Strasburg owns the former Pensy 440 number 1223 and has reconditioned the D16 for regular operating service. Here's engineer Bud Schwer on the whistle cord. Why not test yourself as if the rules examiner were there with you? After the complete series of 12 signals, I'll be back to give you the answers. Number one. Number two. Number three. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven.
Now let's check your scorecard. Number one was apply brakes, stop. The second signal is an engineer's answer to any signal not otherwise provided for. Number three has a dual purpose. When standing, back up. And when running, stop at the next station. Four is a call for signals. Five is the alarm for persons or livestock on the track. Six, approaching stations, junctions, and railroad crossings. Number seven indicates a second section is following. Eight, flagmen protect rear of train. Nine, release brakes, proceed. On the 10th, if you miss this, you're no railroader. This is a standard grade crossing signal. 11, flagmen may return from west or south. And number 12, flagmen may return from east or north. Well, how did you do? What's your score? If you enjoyed the sound portraits on this record, you'll want to be sure to send us your name and address for our latest catalog. Do it today. Perhaps your friends would like to be on our mailing list. Why not include their name too? It won't cost you anything, and there's no obligation to them. Also, remember to visit your favorite hobby dealer and browse through a supply of Semaphore record albums. They're realistic. <laughs> <laughs>